friends our next topic is lifeboats <clears throat> lifeboat the material used in making the lifeboat at present is it is made up of grp that is glass reinforced plastic that is the material which is uh, used in making lifeboats and these are the, these are of rigid hull structure which are rot proof fire resistant non corrosive and they do not sweat they resist oil and attack from uh, and fungal attacks so that's the property of this material and uh, the interior of the uh, life boats may be made of wood or the same glass reinforced plastic now the life boat uh, should be capable of being launched or towed while making a headway of 5 knots that's the requirement life boat with its full complement of persons along with equipments and everything should be able to maintain positive stability in calm water and uh, the seating the seating in a life boats are uh, supposed to be benches which should withstand a weight of uh, 100 kg per person uh, during launching from a height of 3 meters and uh, the maximum capacity of a life boat should not exceed 150 persons that's a requirement all the life boats are required to be 12 inches or 30 cm clear of the ship side when being launched so this is another requirement with the ship upright and uh, the life boat not to be damaged in stowage throughout an air temperature range of minus 20 degree centigrade to plus 65 degree centigrade so during this temperature range in stowage position it should not be damaged now the life boat should be of a highly visible color and fitted with retro reflective material uh, as per the administration the the skates and fenders are to be fitted in the life boat in position to withstand a lateral impact against the ship side at a impact velocity of at least 3.5 meter per second and also drop into water from a height of at least 3 meters that's a requirement and the minimum vertical distance between the floor and the roof uh, requirement is as follows 1.3 meter for 9 persons and it should be 1.7 meter for 24 persons and between 9 persons and 24 persons uh, you can interpolate and uh, have the required the uh, vertical distance between them now the <coughs> the walking surface of a life boat should be non skid and uh, uh, all the crew members for uh, for a cargo ship the requirement is all the crew members should be able to board it in less than 3 uh, minutes so it should be uh, the arrangement should be as such that the crew should be able to board, uh, board it in not more than 3 minutes that is a requirement so that's uh, introduction about life boats Continuing with life boats, the buoyancy requirement for life boat is as follows: the life boats, all life boats, shall have inherent buoyancy or shall be fitted with inherently buoyant material, which shall not be adversely affected by sea water, oil, or oily products. Now, buoyancy should be sufficient to float the life boat with all its equipment and complement of persons on board when flooded and when it is open to sea. So that's another requirement. and additional inherently buoyant material equal to 280 newton uh, 280 newton of buoyant force per person shall be provided for the number of persons the life boat is permitted to accommodate so for the number of persons a life boat is permitted to accommodate for each person 280 newton of buoyant force should be provided through a inherently buoyant material fitted now the buoyant material unless in addition to that required above shall not be installed externally to the hull of the life boat so the buoyant material should be inherently uh, it should be uh, installed inside the life boat not outside to the hull structure coming to the freeboard and stability requirement for uh, life boats now all life boats when loaded with 50% of the number of persons uh, to one side of the center line shall be stable and have a positive gm as you can see in this figure this is a uh, aerial view which i am showing of the life boat it is uh, uh, it is boarded with 50% of its complement persons and they are seated one side of the center line of the uh, life boat so in this case the life boat is supposed to be stable and should provide a positive gm and the with, uh, for the same condition the uh, it shall have a free board of at least 1.5% the life boat's length or 100 mm whichever is greater so freeboard in this case is nothing but uh, the length from the water line 
to the lowest opening through which the lipoid may be flooded. So that's your free bolt in this case. So that's about your uh, buoyancy and free bolt and stability requirement for lifeboats. So continuing with lifeboats, uh, coming to the propulsion systems within lifeboats, all lifeboats to be powered by compression ignition engine, that's the requirement and no engine shall be used for any lifeboat if its fuel has a flash point of 43 degrees centigrade or less which is determined by the closed cup test. Then the engine shall be provided with either a manual starting system or a power starting system with two independent rechargeable energy sources. So that's the requirement and any necessary starting aid shall also be provided. The engine starting system and the starting aids shall start the engine at an ambient temperature of minus 15 degrees centigrade within two minutes of commencing the start procedure. Now starting system, uh, it should not be imp uh, impeded by the engine casing or your seating or any other arrangements. It should not impede the starting arrangement of the engine. That's a requirement and the engine shall be capable of operating for not less than 5 minutes after starting from cold with the lifeboat out of the uh, water. Then your engines of the lifeboat when the lifeboat is flooded up to the center line of the crankshaft or uh, descending uh, uh, up to the center line of the crankshaft your engine should be able you should be able to start your engine when the lifeboat is flooded up to the center line of the crankshaft that's another requirement and your propeller shafting shall be so arranged that the propeller can be disengaged from the engine. Such provisions uh, shall be made from uh, for ahead and stern propulsion also. And the exhaust pipe shall be so arranged as to prevent water from entering uh, the engine in normal operations. And uh, when your, your engine, uh, your lifeboat should be capable of being operated with its full complement of persons and equipment uh, at the speed of 6 knots for 24 hours uh, the engine should have uh, fuel capacity to uh, fuel capacity as well as the speed uh, it should be able to provide is 6 knots for at least 24 hours that's a requirement and when it is towing the speed is uh, towing a life raft of 25 persons fully uh, fully bo boarded and with its full complement of equipments and everything uh, in that case the lifeboat should be able to provide a, a speed of at least 2 knots when towed to, uh, to when towing a life uh, raft, that's another requirement. And instructions and uh, instruction and diagrammatical uh, procedures on how to start a lifeboat engine should be present uh, uh, in place uh, within a cart or a poster should be there, which is uh, water resistant. Uh, so this is the requirement for propulsions for lifeboats. <clears throat> so our next topic is. Equipments for lifeboats. The equipment for lifeboats are as follows Buoyant oars to be present on uh, lifeboats, boat hooks, two in number, buoyant baler, and two buckets. Buoyant baler is your uh, mug, your plastic mug, that's a buoyant baler, and two buckets. Uh, a portable uh, uh, pump, manual uh, hand pump should also be present. A survival manual, uh, which should be uh, in a waterproof booklet, that's a waterproof booklet, that's a requirement. Uh, operational compass, a sea anchor with uh, shock resistant hawser and a tripping line which pro uh, provide a firm hand grip when wet. Two painter line, now these two painter lines is for securing the lifeboat forward and aft uh, while uh, lowering. The length of the painter line should be <coughs> twice the distance from the storage position to the water line or 15 meters whichever is greater. Now two hatchets, one at each end of the lifeboat to be present. Hatchet is nothing but it's axe. The axe is, uh, the name given is hatchet. Now watertight receptacles to be present, which should, uh, which should contain at least three liters of fresh water per person. One liter per person, uh, one liter of fresh water per person may be replaced by the desalinating apparatus. That is 1.5 liter per day. That is three liter of uh, the water should be able to be replaced within two days. That is 1.5 liters per day. The desalinating apparatus should be able to replace 1.5 liters of fresh water per, per day. So that's another requirement. A rust proof dipper with lanyard. A rust proof graduated drinking vase. Now food ration not less than 10,000 kilojoule per person to be present. 
two smoke signals, four rocket parachutes and six hand flares. These are your pyrotechnics which are uh, to be present. One waterproof electric torch suitable for most signaling along with spare set of batteries and a bulb to be present in a watertight casing. Then a daylight signaling mirror, a copy of life saving signals, one whistle, one fire extinguisher for oil fires, a jackknife with lanyard, then three tin openers, uh, one set of fishing tackle, one radar reflector, a searchlight to be present uh, with the properties of the horizontal and vertical sector of the searchlight should cover 6 degrees and uh, it should have a luminous intensity of 2500 candela that's another requirement and uh, it should uh, burn continuously for at least uh, not less than 3 hours so that's the pro property of searchlight which has to be present on your lifeboats Coming to the TPA, TPA to be present in lifeboats are 10% of the number of complements or persons uh, the lifeboat can accommodate or two, whichever is greater. Then a first aid outfit, uh, anti seasickness pills which should be sufficient to last for 48 hours, uh, one seasickness bag per person, your uh, arrangements to mount SART 1 meter above the waterline should also be, uh, the arrangement to mount the SART 1 meter above the waterline should also be present. So these are your equipments. Uh, in your lifeboats.